Hi everyone, this is Christy Haig, and I'm here to teach you today how to make your own scalloped edges on your scrapbooking layouts. This is a layout that I've made using uh, Kristen CB's um, The Things You Say kit, and I have this square paper in the background that I'd like to add some pizzazz to by adding a scalloped edge to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scroll up in my layers palette and just click on the very top layer on my layout. Um, and the reason for this is that I want to create my scalloped edge right on the very top of the layout just so I can see it better. And then once I have it completed, I will pop it back um, behind the paper and clip the paper to it so that I can have um, it in the background where I want it. So we're going to start by adding a new layer so that I can draw my scallops in a new layer and scalloped edges are going to be created using the brush tool. You want to make sure that you have your default basic brush here and then in the middle here you will see a pop-out menu for different brushes and what you want is just one of these circle brushes because we want a scalloped edge to be the shape of a circle. It doesn't really matter which one you pick because down here we're going to set the size. I'm going to scroll to a little bit bigger and you can see when I hover over my layout I can see how big that circle is. And you can just slide this way or if you have an idea about what size you want um, your circle to be in pixels you can do you can type right into that box and make sure the opacity slider is all the way up. So that's my circle brush and now we're going to go over to the brush settings. You want to make sure that these are all, all the way down that your hardness and roundness are all the way up. Um, but the slider that we're going to pay attention to here is the spacing. And basically what that means is as I draw some circles across the page, um, this is going to determine how close each of the next circle stamps is going to be. So for example, let's say I set it at 60% spacing. When I go to my layout and I draw a line, you'll see that it spaces each of these um, at 60%. So for my scalloped edge, I'm going to want more than more spacing than that. So I'm going to undo that and go back and pick more spacing. And really, you're just going to have to play around um, and find the look that you want. So that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit even too much. So I'm going to undo again and go back and just maybe set it at 80 for now. And again, if I can't get exactly what I want, I can type right into there. There it is. All right, now, back on your layout. You saw when I drew it before, it was just a freehand drawing. I'm going to use the shift key on the keyboard, and the sh holding the shift key down while I drag my mouse is going to make it drag in a straight line, which is what I want. So I'm going to come over here to the corner of where I want my scalloped edge to be, I'm going to click with my mouse and hold it down, add the shift key, and slide over and you'll see that it draws it right in a straight line so I don't have to worry about being too precise. Alright, and that went a little too far off the edge so I'm simply going to, since I added it in a new layer, I'm just going to drag it over a little bit. Maybe use the arrows on my keyboard. Alright, so now I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to do the same thing with my brush down the side of the page. Now I'm going to hover over as best I can, but because it's in a new layer I can always move it if I don't have it right. Click, hold the shift key down, and drag down the side. Now I just noticed that mine went too far towards the edge of the page, so I'm going to have to undo that and try again. Maybe I'll do it on this side where it's a little bit closer, because with the brush tool if you go off um, it's not adding, it's cutting off the pieces that are off, and I don't want it to cut off the edge of my scallop. So I'm going to go over here, get as best I can, click, hold the shift key down, and drag down the page. Alright, now I have two of these. I can draw the last two, or I can simply select both of them. I click on one, hold the shift key down, and click on the other. And I'm going to go to duplicate the layers and then I'm going to go to image rotate layer, not the 180 up here, but rotate layer 180 degrees and that gives me the full four. Alright, so 
so now I have all four of these um, and what I can do is zoom in on them to make sure that they're lined up on the edges or I can um, I'm just clicking with my mouse here to get them right lined up. Okay, maybe I was a little off there. There we go. Those all look good. And then I'm just going to link them. I'm going to go back so I can see my whole layout here. And with those linked, I'm just going to resize them a little bit until I get them the size and location I want the scalloped edge to be on my layout. So now I have four um, scalloped edges but nothing in the middle and to do that I just need to fill it with a square. So I'm going to click on my shape tool, make sure I have the rectangle picked here and I'm just going to click right in the middle of one corner, drag. The only thing you have to be careful of here is that you actually make it all the way over the bottom of the circles here so that it completely fills the whole shape. And hold on just a second, I had a layer style added to that shape they didn't want. Alright, so now I'm going to merge them all together. Click on the shape, go all the way down, hold the shift and click on the bottom one until they're all together. And I'm just going to right click in my layers palette. And let me get it so you can see it here. Merge layers and now I have my scalloped edge paper in my layers palette I can drag it down or I can also hit um, control shift and the left bracket and that will send it all the way to the bottom and this is the square that I had that I don't want so I'm going to hide that I'm going to drag my new scalloped edge shape up here and then I'm going to merge or link Control G my back paper to that scalloped edge and then I'm going to add my shadow and there you have it a scalloped edged paper to the background and you can use the same method to add um, just a scalloped border one sided or add scallops to anything else on your layout hope you have fun with a new trick thanks